Um, I want to say a few things about this. This issue has been in my office for well over six months. This isn't something new. As a matter of fact, I'd be willing to say it's been there for at least nine months. There have been discussions, 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 discussions. When I go out of town, I'm approached by Uber people in other places to come and talk to us about trying to get this passed here. We tell them what we need. They say they'll work on it. They come back. We get nothing. I've talked to David Pluff today, former political advisor for President Obama. First time I've ever heard from him, but wanted to know what they could do this afternoon in order to avoid having this come up for a vote today. This issue has not been something that's come up quickly. We have been very clear from day one about the things that were necessary. And in the process of being clear, we have invited Uber and Lyft and Ztrip and anybody else who has an interest to come and sit down with us and talk to us, and they have done it. It's very interesting. This all started a long time ago when Lyft showed up and just started operating. We had a real problem with that, and we put a stop to it to the extent that we sued them because we did not believe that was in the public's best interest. But we then entered into negotiations with Lyft and their lawyers, which, by the way, Uber does not have on this case. We entered into negotiations with Lyft. We worked with them. We've gotten to a point where they have a set of regulations that, although it's not exactly what they want, it's not exactly what we want either, and it's fine and we'll go forward. Z-Trip is already registered. But when it comes to Uber, the refrain that we have heard from them consistently is, we will not accept any of this. Nothing. Why can't we do background checks? We want to do background checks, we said to Uber. No, we, we're not going to let you do background checks. Okay, how about this? How about you do the background checks, use your people, and give us the background checks so that we can look over them? No, we're not going to do that. How about this? Why don't you do the background checks, give them to your drivers, and then the drivers can give them to us? No, we're not going to do that at all. Why can't we see the background checks on the people driving cars in this city who are picking up citizens in this city? Because it's a matter of privacy, they say. Well, it's not a matter of privacy to get a license and to put people in your car and put your name and your face on the receipt when you send it to them by email. It's not a matter of privacy. And the reason that we're keen on background checks is that we are very much aware of the issues that this operator and others have had across the country from drivers who they supposedly had a background check on, but somehow they drop off the fare at the airport and then go back to the fare's house and break into the house. Or they have a felon who had been in federal prison for murder, gets out, their background check is applied to them, and then he's driving an Uber cab and is now arrested and accused of rape. Or the lawsuit against them in Seattle, or the lawsuit against them in San Francisco, or the lawsuit against them in LA, or the fact that Hawaii won't do this, the fact that Kansas won't do this, Germany won't do this, France won't do this, Italy won't do this, London won't do this, St. Louis won't do this. The reason that nobody wants to do this is because we have no one who is willing to actually negotiate. The negotiation is, we will talk to you, we will tell you what you want to hear, and we'll walk out the door and at the end we'll come back and say, we can't agree to that. We can't agree to any of that. So we're not negotiating, we're talking to ourselves. When this first started, the idea that I heard was is that it's too expensive for the drivers. And you know what? We sat around, we talked about that, and you said, you know what? That might be right. It was at 330 something dollars. We said, that's too high. You know what it is now? $100. Is that acceptable? No. Nothing's acceptable. There is no desire to slow down the innovative entrepreneurial spirit of this city, absolutely 100% not. And any of you guys, any of these people who are out there sending out emails saying something to the contrary really needs to get a hold of the facts. 
The fact of the matter is, we have a responsibility that we swore to uphold when we were elected and raised our hand and swore to do our job. And one of the very first things that we have to do is to ensure the public safety. Now, when we know that the background checks that are being used are not stopping murderers and rapists and people breaking into houses, how do we simply say, oh, gee, you don't need a background check? Don't worry about it. There's ways to work this out. But here's the real thing that's going on. Uber has filed legislation in the state of Missouri that if that legislation is approved, they don't have to do much of anything. So while they're waiting for Missouri to approve that legislation, they're just kind of jerking our chain. That's the truth of the matter. We've met and met and met and met and met until we are basically blue in the face. We asked for I don't know how long for things that we never got. And then today, when we have a vote, I'm getting calls at 10.30 at night, 7 o'clock in the morning, five minutes before this meeting, 10 minutes before the last meeting. Hey, what do we have to do to slow this down? What do we have to do to wait? A, we need another 90 days. Another 90 days, we've been going at it for eight, nine months. What's another 90 days going to do that eight or nine months couldn't do? It bothers me that people will simply accept what they are told on an email without any more knowledge, without making any more investigation, without going on under the television and looking at the hearings and listening to the testimony, without even trying to read the ordinance, with no more information, and they just accept it, swallow it whole, and then regurgitate it, and basically try to tell us that we're stupid. We're not stupid. We're dealing with a $40 billion company that wants their way. We're going to do our job. We have been over backwards. We have something that they can and should accept because it ain't that big of a deal. But why do we need background checks? Here's one reason why we need them. If and, and another thing why we need to license the drivers, because with the background checks, we can stop predators and criminals getting in, at least try to. Secondly, without the other provisions here, some Uber can get rid of somebody who is breaking their laws, but then they just pick up and go drive for Lyft. That's right. Or go drive for Z-Trip. Or go drive a taxi. Or start their own company and drive anybody around. Now, if we're trying to get rid of people who are going to hurt you, why do we want them to simply move to a different location to hurt you? So here's the deal. I'm going to support this. Breaks my heart because I really, this idea of we're kicking Uber out, that is so much garbage, it doesn't even deserve a response. Uber is choosing to leave because we will not cave in and give them everything they want. And that's not going to happen. We will protect our citizens, even if you dislike us for doing it, because that's our job. So I would suggest that you spend some time and energy talking to your company and ask them why they won't negotiate. Don't ask us. We've been at that table. Ask them why they won't work with us on background checks. Ask them why they won't negotiate on any of these items about registering the driver of the vehicle so that we can make sure that there are people driving safely. Ask Uber some questions. Maybe then you might see what we've been seeing. Not much. Anyone else? Clerk will call the roll. Wagner? Aye. Davis? Aye. Ford? Aye. Johnson? Aye. Curls? Aye. Reed? Aye. Glover? Aye. Markison? Aye. Circo? Aye. Hill? Aye. Taylor? Aye. Sharp? Aye. James? Aye. 13 ayes. The motion as amended is passed.